Hey there, so today we have another beer experiment and this is with Sierra Nevada Hot Bullet Double IPA. So this was canned uh, pretty much three months to the date. One of these cans sat in the fridge for, I guess, two-ish months. I mean, um, it's been a minute, a while since I reviewed Hot Bullet and I've kept that in the fridge. And the other one has actually been sitting under the sink around 70, Three to 75 degrees. Yeah. That's sort of our ambient room temperature. If anything, it's under the sink, so even colder than that. And we're curious to see what turns out. So Katie's gonna pour these. I have them marked on the bottom, but I don't know which can is which. And she can mix them up if all she wants. I mean, how about this? Let's do one of these. I will. Yeah, let's do one of those. So there you go. So I have no clue which one's which. Um, I'm just gonna change them behind my back. There you go, whatever you prefer. Uh, just trying to keep this nice and solid and uh, blind. So. Uh, yeah, we're curious to see how oxidation works on these hoppy beers. Okay. And, okay. And one of them, I mean, more specifically, this is relevant to what a lot of beers you guys buy are um, state wise, in the sense that they are sitting on a 70 ish degree indoor um, shelf of a beer store. And three months is actually in code with a lot of Best Buy dates that breweries would recommend. So, yeah, absolutely. So we're curious to see artificially recreating that at home, seeing how that goes. Uh, for sure, when I reviewed Hot Bullet, it was quite tasty, delicious, dangerous West Coast Double IPA by Sierra Nevada. Uh, I think it's like nine, this beer is 9%, right? Don't be the people. 8%, 8% Double IPA, it's like nine ninety nine for a six pack, so great uh, value on the two. Appearance-wise, it looked actually quite different. Yeah, appearance wise look quite different. Definitely see a good amount of head retention on this one. A little bit more yellowish head. Uh, color wise. This one's hazier. Yeah, we've got a hazier one and then one that's less hazy. But I think really the story that will tell, and actually, yeah, the head is a huge difference. Yeah. I think really what will tell is my aromatics, or at least. Even the color of the head, the consistency of the head, the density of the head is totally different. So this one doesn't actually have much aroma, but this comes off oxidized, but I'm not quite sure. So we'll see. Yeah, that one, um, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Sweet, slightly caramely, definitely sense the oxidation. That's bitter. And the strange thing is that Yeah, it, it comes off um, more floral, bitter, fruity, piney. And so what I notice here is the bitterness sort of lingers and tastes more like double IPA and what couple it tastes like. This one is papery. And the strange thing enough is that the bitterness has completely been driven away on this one. It's almost sweet, dominant, papery. It's almost and, like honey. Yeah, it's honey, that's what it is. It's honeyed sweetness. And it's like whatever drinkable beer, but here it's bitter, it's piney. More floral. More floral. It's very potpourri-ish. It's bitter. Whereas this one, the bit the I guess the I don't know, I guess the oxidation uh, offers those yeah. um uh, uh honey tones and it's completely stripped away. I mean, this is crazy enough. I mean, I don't know if Ivy used a grade with time. Ah, you guys, better beer experts out there, please post in comments below. But it, it almost seems like they're completely different products. This clearly has like an IBU dominance to it. It is a bitter beer. This is honeyed sweetness. And I guess partially, part, part of that is maybe the hops have faded away and that's allowed the malt character to really show through. Also, um, crystal malts are an oxidizing, or yeah, oxidizing forward uh, ingredient in beer. And so if your beers, this one had a fluffier head, which is actually strange enough. I, I'd think that the beer that had a better head would be the fresh one, but I guess not. And then appearance wise. I mean, I wouldn't even say that it was necessarily a better head. It was a very rocky, almost murky looking yeah, head. I mean, okay. even now that they're like mostly dissipated, this one has more of a yellow. So th this is the order that you poured them in, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna try to this, this one has like more of a yellow head. Yeah, see, look at that color difference. Like it's very, very slight. But like this one is almost like a dingier color. Yeah, this one's a rockier, almost a Belgian kind of head. Yeah. Really, 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 really close. 
and this one's more of a consistent tiny bubble head. And right. then you clearly tell by the appearance that the older beer has a, has a richer clarity to it. There's more in suspension. Can you so see that? So you know which one's the shelf and which one's the fridge? I think, I believe clearly so. Which one's which? This one is going to be the one that has been sitting in our fridge. This one's been sitting on the shelf. And its clarity is very noticeable. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the little particulates on the, sh on the cold shelf, a uh, cold one. So final answer? Oh, wait, actually first, before we even go, you can see the rockiness on the head? Yeah. This one is tiny bubble. It has more longer lasting kind of head to it. Final answer? This is the cold one. This one is the uh, uh, warm shelf one. So, so that's one's warm this. Warm shelf? And that's cold shelf. C. Yeah. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's right. That's a C. That's a C. <laughs> no, this I is just, a W. I had a moment where I couldn't remember which way C faced. And then C. <laughs> well, it depends on how you write it, I guess. So, like, yeah, C. Yeah, so you were right. You yeah. were correct. This and the cold shelf. That's the warm shelf. And the crazy thing is that this was more aromatic to me. Yeah, you should try those. No, I know this one. This one's cardboardy. This one's more uh, menthol-y on the nose. Oh, you wouldn't know. You went straight up. But. No, um, I sniff it before I even yeah. drink it. But it's mentholy and piney on this one. Mm -hmm. Minty. So I'll take this one. Yeah. That one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So even though a lot of breweries do uh, IPAs at Best Buy three months, I taste a little bit of honey sweetness. I think three months in the fridge is like probably where I'd want to sit at. Yeah. Some, some, some beers maybe can last six weeks or no, six months maybe, four or five, six months. This one I think is like... I don't like I don't there. like IPAs after about three months. I think but this one kinda... preserved pretty well. This, no, it I did. I'm good. just saying a majority of IPAs. Yeah. I don't. This one's falling off the cliff. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 hit its peak and dropping off. Yeah. This one, wow, we. I mean, like you could just color. I mean, the color. Oh yeah, is crazy it's totally different. different. I mean, I, I don't know how hard it is to see on cam, but this the one... haze is that's a medium mine. That's a that's a light haze. This is clear. This is clear beer. Actually, this has a tiny haze. This, it? it does, but yeah. but you could see like. Particles, particles in suspension, yeah. whereas this has nothing. It's just cleared out. Yeah. And then this is a longer lasting head. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. As rockier head. This is oxidation, sweetness, it's, it's cardboard, it's honey. I do love these glasses. Yeah. Until next time, guys, cheers. Again, proving that your beer is on a warm shelf. And even if a Best Buy is three months, recommended by a lot of breweries, some are quite aggressive, including, including Stone, you're not going to get a great product. But if it's in the fridge, three months, you're fine. That's how I recommend it. So again, it's less about time. It's More less about, about storage. It's, a, it's, it's all about temperature. Yeah. It's all about temperature. Because you could, I'd say you can go this four or five months and it still tastes okay. That would be, see, that would be a really interesting experiment mm -hmm. to buy a can of this and keep it in the fridge for four or five months. And then as it's coming to that four or five months, buying another can. This is rich, piney, but it's tasty beer. It's got a little bit of a heady topper kind of edge to it. You've never had a heady topper, have you? I don't remember. Some viewers out there. I don't need, have the memory. For she has. Virginity. You got to break Katie's uh, heady topper virginity. It's one of the important beers. That's out like. There. <laughs> heady topper is a you know. I know, but telling people they need to like pop my virginity is on heady topper. <laughs> It's just an important beer. Like everybody's has to yeah. try a heady topper at some point. Yeah. It's one of the most important beers I've ever had. turned a little red. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, and since the year two thousand, that is the most important beer to to be involved in the craft market. Yeah. I think next experiment. American beer. We should definitely do the the four or five months though, and and yeah. and compare like a five month beer to a two month beer, and just kind of see like where we're at on the yeah. comparison. Yeah. But this is, I mean, this is pretty gross, right? It's not terrible. It's not. I mean, like if I, if I wasn't if I wasn't an IPA drinker, I would think that that's like what it's. Yeah, it's soft, to taste like. sweet, and if you don't know it's cardboard, yeah. Yeah. But it lacks any IPA character. Yeah. This is this is definitely fresher. Not I wouldn't say crisp, but it's fresher. No, but th th it's night and day. Like this this tastes like an IPA. This does not. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's how bad the uh, beers are. If I had to rate them right now, I'd give that like a. I give that like a 90 and I'd probably give that like an 84. We're on new rating systems. This is basically undrinkable in my mind. A what? New rating systems is basically undrinkable in my mind. Oh. Let's go with a 68 on that one. Really? 68. This is quite delicious. That bad. No, it's that bad. Yeah. This is like a um, 88 for me. It's it's so menthol -y though. You get that? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very piney. It's very... Aspen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got the spruce kind of like, almost like a terpenes in there. Until next time, guys. Cheers. 
Um, got more experiments coming. Post some comments below if you have any recommendations of what thoughts you'd like to throw in, because get those comments in now, because it takes months to like get them right. actually into fruition and record it. So cheers, guys.